Hey, Lanky Cyclist here. So how much difference does aerodynamics make to your average speed on the bike? Got some pseudoscience for you based on some recent time trial results. Let's take a look. All right, so the idea for this video came from a time trial race that I participated in last weekend. It was the old schoolhouse initiative time trial. It's about 22 kilometers, takes place on relatively flat country roads, and it's, a, it's an out and back. I participated in this event last year in 2022 as well, but with one major difference. So last year, this event hosted the Ohio State Time Trial Championships. And because of that, the categories were a little bit different. And last year, I entered the aero category. So time trial bikes, shoe covers, aero bars, skin suits, all of that aerodynamic garbage was allowed. This year, I decided to compete in the standard category. So none of that aerodynamic stuff was allowed. Both years though, I rode the same bike my 2019 Colnago CLX. The only difference was the tires. We'll discuss that in a second. But for the most part, same course, same bike, but one year with aero bars and aero clothing. Second year, none of that stuff. Before we look at the results though, let's take a look at the equipment from one year to the next. All right, so like I said, same bike both years, but I did switch up the tires. So in 2022, I ran some Victoria Corsa Speed 2.0s. They were 28 millimeters. I had them set up tubeless. In 2023, I ran some 28 millimeter Continental GP 5000s, and I had them set up tubed with Victoria Latex tubes. 2022, I had clip-on aero bars on the bike, just some old ones that I've had for like since my days of doing duathlons. I think they're by profile design, super cheap, easy clip on aero bars. Wore some cheap little shoe covers from Velo Toes, and I wore a skin suit. It wasn't like a super fancy, no pins one or anything like that. 2023, none of that stuff was allowed, so I just wore my regular team racing kit. I did, however, use some Defeat Evo Disruptor socks they're aero socks. I'll put my discount code for Defeat Socks here, but they're supposed to save you, I don't know, like seven or eight watts or something like that. Both years, I used the same helmet, this laser century helmet with the, the twist cap, like in its full, like slightly aero position. It's definitely not like a full out, like weirdo shaped aero helmet. Other than those differences though, pretty much everything was the same from one year to the next. Course was the exact same both years. 22.4 kilometers or 13.9 miles, about 400 feet of climbing. Weather was slightly different. It was a little bit warmer last year. So this year at the start, it was in the low 60 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas last year it was in the low 70s. Totally calm this year. Last year, there was a little bit of a headwind on the way out, which was obviously then a tailwind on the way back. But the wind wasn't a major factor and like in terms of like air pressure that kind of stuff i don't think it would have made too much of a difference so let's get to the results how much faster was i with all the aero equipment on all right so in 2022 my official time according to the results was 34 minutes and 40 seconds works out to an average speed of 24.0 miles per hour my average power was 262 watts Average heart rate was 170 beats per minute, and my max heart rate was 176. 2023, without the aid of aerodynamic equipment, well, I finished the same course in 36 minutes and 12 seconds. Works out to an average speed of 23.0 miles per hour. My average power was a tiny bit lower at 254. Uh, average heart rate was 164 beats per minute and my max heart rate was 171. So, with the aid of the aero bars, skin suit, shoe covers, I was a full one minute and 32 seconds faster. Makes sense, the aero bars do get you in a much more tucked in position, so probably are saving like quite a bit of wattage. I don't know how much of a difference a skin suit really would make compared to very tight fitting uh, cycling kit. 
I'm sure GCN has made like 5,000 videos about this. So you can go watch Ollie Bridgewood in a wind tunnel someplace, like do all this stuff. But I just thought it was interesting when I was comparing my results from last year to this year and the power was pretty similar. My fitness levels were pretty similar and I was on the same bike uh, and I saw that, you know, minute 30 difference. Just thought it was kind of an interesting thing to take a look at that, I mean, like the aerodynamics really does make a difference. All right, so thanks for playing along on my little pseudo science experiment. Got other videos coming out here soon, so I will see you then.